Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And let me go ahead and uh, intro the music here. Oh, and I am in a little bit of a hurry here. I currently have um, I currently have one of my videos uploading to Twitch um, as we speak. So, yeah, I'll I'll explain more about it later. But let me go ahead and get this going. Um, this is again Bear the Storyteller, and their D Dotties album. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. It came out last year. Um, showed up on my YouTube recommendations, played a little bit of it, it's just what I'm looking for, so. And I believe I have a, I have the volume set properly, so I should be able to just get right into this. Um, but to start with, overall I don't really have a whole lot. Just, um, just been watching a fair amount of Scarface, uh, I rented it yesterday. Oh, no, actually, I read it a couple days ago. This is actually uh, one of the reasons why I'm 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 gonna be kind of hasty going through this because I think the rental period time on this is almost up, and I still haven't watched the whole movie. It's like a three-hour movie, and I don't tend to watch movies all at once. Usually, I'll watch like a little bit of it at a time and then go off and do something else, come on back and watch a little more of it. But but yeah, I just I take I. When it comes to movies, especially these days, I'm pretty much a bird biter. I don't, I don't, I can't recall a time where I actually watched a whole entire movie in one go. Usually, I just watch bits and pieces at a time. I'm just kind of getting repetitive here, but um, but yeah, it's a good movie. Um, this is all, this is one of the one of those um, one of those moments where yeah, I actually will follow the crowd. I will follow the herd because yeah, Scarface is a good movie, like most other people say. Oh, and um, and I'm taking a drink, and I'm drinking a uh, Arizona green tea. Oh, and it's the uh, the zero sugar free kind. But um. Actually, let me let me go ahead and add one more thing to this. But there is actually a part of the movie where, uh, kind of a spoiler here, but um, when Scarface first comes to America, I mean he, he he wants the world. He wants you know he wants a big business. He wants doesn't he isn't content. Uh, with his little own patch of land, like he basically wants to take over the world. And then um, his boss, played by Robert Loggia, he's the opposite. He uh, he he wants to keep things nice and tidy. You know, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to increase his territory. He doesn't want to expand his power or anything like that. And it and it very much reminded me of uh, him. Sorry, I am gonna be going somewhat political here, but basically, in, in the the moral of the, the moral of the story of Scarface is pretty much the moral of the story of Strong Towns, one of my all-time favorite books. Uh, stability over growth. It's kind of an issue that we have when it comes to building cities. We're too expansionist. You know, we're you know we're not concerned. You know, they're not concerned about whether the stuff. The, the stuff they're building is actually worth maintaining or whether the stuff's actually going to make them money that kind of thing it just we're perpetually in debt you know we got to keep we got to keep building over and over but again i'm i mean i'm not i'm not sorry if i'm being annoying with the politics part of this but uh but yeah i kind of see that i kind of saw that see this in uh between scarface and robert loggia i don't know his name oh i don't i don't know his name in the movie but yeah, but you know, because I mean, pretty sure. I mean, sorry if this is a if this is gonna be a spoiler for most, but Al Pacino ends up Scarface ends up getting killed in the end because you know he's you know too power hungry, too expansionist. I mean, he's got that monument in the in the middle of his mansion. The world is yours. He wants the world, whereas uh, Loja was again. He just he wanted to he just wanted to run things in his own little own little part of the kingdom he didn't want the whole world he just wanted to just improve on what he had 
So yeah, like I, like I said, I just saw a parallel between the plot in Scarface and the book Strong Towns. And I'm not sure if anybody's familiar with with the uh, the Star Wars universe outside of the uh, the outside of the movies. Um, a guy named Grand Admiral Thrawn, probably my all-time favorite villain right there, because. But he, he kind of had that same mentality, too. He was kind of the flip side of the Emperor. The Emperor wanted to, you know, just wanted to expand and spare no expense. He wanted to control the entire galaxy or the entire universe, where, whereas Thrawn, he was just... He would rather make do with what he had. It just... He was basically a military genius, so he... That's one key component of a lot of them, is just being resourceful. Um, but aside from that, just been playing a lot of Gems of War. I was working on, I was working on a build yesterday, and, um, a guy named DJ Screw was actually uh, helping me along with it, um, giving me some ideas, but then, um, last night, there was a, there was a certain card I had that I, or that I recall getting, so I did a Google search, and I'm thinking, hmm, wonder what kind of team that would be, so, but the videos that are uploading right now, is uh, is my uh, explanation of that build and how it works. So, but it was uh, it was something I didn't discover until this morning. So that's why I'm a little, little hasty about this because I still got to get these two videos upload. I, or excuse, let me back up. I still have to get this video uploaded as well to YouTube and Twitch. So still gonna be pretty busy. But uh, yeah, and to the short answer. Of my new build, the one I just started this morning, is basically an infinite turns build. It's a it's a loop. It loops over and over and over and over, and eventually, it's centered around not even giving your opponent a chance to do anything. And I, I kind of said that I kind of said this in the videos, and um, I kind of said it off the cuff, but um, in the I was I had a, I also had Magic the Gathering in mind. Uh, in that in that universe, and I somewhat agree with them. Infinite turn loop combos are pretty fucking lame. You know, I I mean I like decks that basically pick me apart. Um, so I I kind of said the same thing about all. Uh, I kind of said the same thing in Gems of War too. I kind of wanted to clear the air somewhat. I mean, it might seem that the 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 troops that I, or the group that I'm using now might seem kind of lame, but I also wanted to demonstrate too that there's a I'm in PvP. I face groups that uh that can literally take you out just like that. Like, I mean, not even have to use. I mean, by casting like a bare minimum of spells, you know, just casting like three or four spells and it's uh, it's all over for you. So I was trying to demonstrate a few a few of the powerful of the powerful cards that are in that game that are. And some of the groups that are way more powerful than what I got now. I mean, what I got now, I mean, it's an infinite loop, but there's a whole lot of looping going on. And even then, it's not 100% foolproof. But, I mean, there's still a, there's still a few silver bu silver bullets that would, that would kill that, de that would kill that group just like that. But um, I'm kind of in a hurry right now. But let me um, move on to the next one. And this is kind of a big one. In fact... Wrong one. Wrong one. I forgot to mention this in the past few days, but um I streamed pinball last night. And um one of my regulars, his name is Aptitude. Whenever I'm whenever I'm playing pinball, he always requests me that I play black hole. And so and so yeah, sure, no problem. I'll play it for him. Um and I and there's times where I actually do pretty good on that table. I actually last for a very long time. Um, but yeah, every every time map is on, black hole. So, so yeah. Um, if he catches me in time, and if I'm playing pinball arcade at the time, yeah, I fire it up for him. But yeah, I, I typically I typically do to I do do table requests. Um, but um, requesting a table that I hadn't played at all that session would be a plus, but not a requirement. It just I don't like playing the same table twice, especially since that uh, since I have at least on pin on pinball arcade, I probably have over a hundred tables on that thing. 
really not much point in me playing the same one over and over. I'm not getting my money's worth. I mean, one of the reasons, but I'm like that in real life, too. For the rare time that I actually go to a pinball arcade, I don't play the same table over and over and over and over. I basically make the rounds. Play, you know, I'll play the Ted Nugent table, then I'll play the 8-Ball Deluxe table, the Xenon table, the Cap... Uh, the Captain Fantastic table, um, go to the upper level, play the Funhouse table, play the Bride table, play the Centaur table, but yeah, but like that, I'll, I'll do it like that, so I'm like that in real life as well, I don't, I don't really like playing the same table twice. So, but getting back to what I was originally talking about, um, but he, uh, he actually went out and purchased a full-blown, a full-blown real-life physical, physical table of a black hole. So it just, you know, it's really, really awesome that I, that I actually, um, I actually motivated, albeit indirectly, somebody into doing something like that. So yeah, it, it, it's an awesome thing when I can do that, when I can do that for somebody. It's, but yeah, it's uh, it's probably one of the biggest compliments that I could probably get as a streamer. You know, if I play up, and I think it ha I think it has happened a few times over the years that I've been streaming. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh God, I'm trying to remember a few. I know uh, when I first started playing um. When first when I was first streaming uh Dragon Ball Fighters, a guy named Molten Lava. Uh he was one of my viewers, eventually became a regular, and I think he's also um he's also one of those that consistently checks out all my videos as well. And um in my cast videos, when you see in the description the link to the music that I'm playing, he was the one that um he was the one that suggested I do that. Cause he seems it seems he always likes the music that I play, so it just makes it very easier for him to find. He was also one that came up with the idea of uh, me uh, just going ahead and making a playlist of all my commentary and all my uh, cast videos, just so he could access it easier. So I mean, that that's another huge compliment for me right there, you know. You know what? I, inspiration. That's the word I was looking for. You know, it's always it's always great when uh, when what I do inspires other people into doing what they do. You know, like the aforementioned black hole table. So, or you know, or in the aforementioned uh, molten lava case. You know, he's uh, you know, he checks out my video, checks out all my videos, and he came up with some ideas of his own. Um, I guess um, DJ DJ Screw would probably fall in that category as well. You know. actually inspired him to check out my videos so I mean it's you know he's really you know it's one it's also one of the things that motivates me to keep on doing it too so <coughs> but, but alrighty um I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good there um, cause I still gotta, I still gotta check on my, uh, my other video that's uploaded to Twitch, get, uh, get that all, uh, put the finishing touches on it and get it, get it all published. Then, excuse me, then I gotta get going on, uh, this cast video here. I gotta get this uploaded to YouTube and Twitch, so. Still gonna have a pretty busy morning. So. As well as, um. Watching Scarface, so got to get that movie finished up. So. But otherwise, hey, uh, thanks a lot for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, this will be my last cast for the week. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'll be working, so you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, But until then, thanks again for dropping by, everybody, and uh, see, you, see you all Sunday morning. Uh, bye for now.